We're doing it. We're doing the dang thing. We all are beginners somewhere. Today, nothing else matters. Jason's like absolute biggest pet peeve. Hey, hey, we're gonna go lay down some hay. I Welcome to my crazy life as a first generation female farmer, the Chronicles of Kayla. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the buddy seat. I honestly thought I was gonna have the day off. Yesterday we worked cows and I didn't take a single video. Um, Carol caught some candid photos of us working. Um, 50 calves nearly killed me, literally, like, I am bruised all up. Uh, there is a possible shower coming through, but we're going to go ahead and try to mow down the rest of this alfalfa so it's kind of pretty much on the same timeline. Jason really likes it to be all in the same week. You guys can even hear me. Uh, Jason really likes it to be in the same week just because we're already there, but last week we couldn't get it done and we had to end up ground bailing it. It needed to be mowed. It needs to be mowed. Um, this is first cut alfalfa. Uh, the weevil got to it really bad last month, like right before we were ready to cut it. It was a sad state of affair. Like it was really, it was sad. Uh, but there's nothing you can do about it. We sprayed, killed the weevil. Alfalfa's regrowing. Uh, we usually cut alfalfa every 24 to 28 days. The weather depending. Also just depends on how things are going. We have a ton of grass. However, the problem with the grass right now is it's not warm enough. Like literally today is 77 and it's just not going to cure the hay the way that Jason likes to put it up. So we're kind of in limbo mode, I guess you could say. Uh, there's plenty of stuff to be done. There's always stuff to be done. Always stuff to be done. I mean, what is, what's a farm that's not got something to do? So I am going to take the 1393 Massey Ferguson mower. Uh, we still have our John Deere MoCo 940, 946, 9, yeah, I think it's a 946. I don't even know the numbers anymore. Uh, we still have, yeah, it's gotta be a 946. Kayla, you're tripping. Anyway, we still have our John Deere. Um, last year, we sold my John Deere mower um, so we were only one, running one mower at the end of the season anyway. There will be times when, like, that new alfalfa that we planted at 80 acres, we will be running both mowers. Um, there'll be times when, like, on the 40 and diff different fields that we will have to run both mowers just to be effective in time. Um, so obviously we'll be doing trials, uh, which mower cuts best. Um, Jason was really, really pleased with this, um, uh, mower conditioner. It's steel on steel. We've got all summer to talk about it. Um, it's a lot less moving parts, like mechanics, just like looking at it. Um, it's a lot easier for me to change the mower blades out. Um, it's kind of got what I would call like a quick change. Um, it's got a special tool. Nick talked about that quite a bit in this video. You guys can go check it out, but um, I'll obviously do um, a video when we go to change blades. Um, you don't have to like sit there and dig out the, the bolts and find the impact and it just changing blades on this mower is going to be a lot easier in general not just for me so let's see the beans are kind of looking a little sad y'all see the beanies i always like to do crop checks as we drive by because we make numerous times passes through here so i'm gonna stop talking if you guys have stuck around this long thank you appreciate it. Make sure you guys are subscribed, like the video, drop a comment, and um, I'll see you in the field. So this is testimonial time. Like this is me being very honest with you guys. Um, I'm not, did not figure out how to set up auto steer guidance to make perfectly straight lines. And that is one of Jason's like absolute biggest pet peeves is not having um, a straight line and I suck at laying off my own land so I never have like a perfect A, B straight line. Um, we are giving ourselves five in rows this year, six in rows, six in rows around each field. Um, so that means we go around and cut six times. 
so that way we have three end rows when we rake it and then this is just how we mow straight up and down. I ain't even paying attention. Like this is the first time I picked up the camera the whole time I've been down in this field. Um, sometimes I just zone out and I'm thinking about all the things that I need to get done and I always write the best things I have um, while I'm in a tractor. So a lot of times I'm just like voice memoing myself things that I can write about later on um, today. Obviously, I need to take time and learn guidance a little bit better. My wind rows are not beautiful. I'll be really honest, this is a very candid video. I used to hate mowing. Um, and this is technically, I guess, I started off with the New Holland loader tractor, then I ran the 44, Jason 6145M, and now this one. And I'll be honest, this is probably my favorite one to drive. I ran the 5S all last year. It's a 5S145, um, we upgraded and got it and sold the 6145M um, after running it all last year with the baler. I don't know if it's the frame size or the comfort or honestly it's because I don't have to change ranges like shift and clutch to change ranges. It's all like bump shift, shuttle shift and I like that a lot. I like the comfort of the tractor. Um, it just makes mowing for me a lot easier. I'm not being slung around trying to keep up. I mean, I'm running seven, seven miles. If I bump it up to 3D, it's dragging the mower down just because it's kind of real thick and lush underneath there. I'm not even sure how much mowing I'll really do all season just because Jason enjoys mowing a lot, a lot more than I do. It also gives him a break and it's kind of quote unquote an easy job to do. Um, is to mow and lets him take a break from having to do all like the manual physical labor of like keeping maintenance and loading and all the other things that goes on behind the scenes that you guys don't always see. Um, he is trying really hard. He picks up the camera every now and then, but it doesn't cross his mind as much as it does me. Um, that's kind of why the title of the channel is quote unquote Chronicles of Kayla. You know, it's, it's my day to day life story. Um, every now and then we'll throw in some fun stuff, but for the most part, it's really just me doing life. Um, this will be our fifth hay season on YouTube. It's hard to believe that it's been that many years since I've quote unquote left my, left my career. Um, I say I retired from finance at the end of 2018 and then 2019 we still had technically hired hands so in 2019 we had two hired hands and i was really just the baylor girl i did the farm wife thing i ran barrel horses um i showed i did all kinds of other stuff and we got cattle and we got more cows and then lovely stuff happened in our nation that was out of our control the kids were home in 2020 and our hired hands left. Um, I was home full time and Jason said, do you think we can do this? I'm like, mm, I guess. And uh, here we are. We're doing it. We're doing the dang thing. So this is just my little, oops, sorry. I'm like bouncing you all around here. Hold on a second. Let me like turn around. This will be a lot easier when he gets mounts put in here, but you know, he's a busy guy. That's what he tells me. Doesn't always have time to do my little projects, but, um, what I was saying is don't be afraid to start something new. It doesn't have to be bailing hay. It doesn't even have to be farming in general. You know, you don't have to do what I do um, to be supportive in the ag community. Um, you don't even have to be married into ag. Uh, just do what sets your soul on fire. I, I'm very blessed to do it with my best friend. Um, Jason and I obviously butt heads. It, I mean, it just comes from working together, being married together, being together all the time. But do what makes you happy, because if you're not happy at the end of the day, nothing else matters. This winter I had, um, I guess, a reality check with life, and uh, we got crappy news, and I had to have surgery and go through all that, and it's really just hit on a different note that life is too short to be miserable. Uh, I, I love my job. It's hard. It's hard work, but it 
fulfills me in a way that I haven't found anything else that does. Um, I'm working on some stuff for Farm Progress Show. I'm working on some stuff for National Farm Show. You know, these are things, oops, it's a little rough through there, hold on. I wouldn't know if uh, the mower didn't bounce around because this tractor has got the extra uh, front end suspension. I don't know if that's technically what it's called, something along those lines. Um, but it has the extra and a lot of times you don't even know that you're bouncing around if is it, it's a very smooth ride. So like I was saying, I'm working on some projects for Farm Progress Show, getting our merch site back up and going. You guys can check it out in the links below. Um, we teamed up with some other farmers like Kelly and Matt Griggs. Their merch is there, some other great people. And I'm just, I'm really excited to be sharing those little creative things because that's like my little thing. Um, sounds really silly, but I enjoy being the creative side of that. Um, it gives me an outlet that's not necessarily just mowing, raking, and baling hay. Those windrows look a little bit better. Let's see how I do talking and videoing. Oops, completely missed. I'll have to go back. Don't tell Jason. The skies have kind of cleared out. I thought there was going to be some rain there, but it kind of dissipated right over the field. So maybe the good Lord's going to put an umbrella for a little bit, but I really need him to bring out the sunshine. We got to get this hay done. It's a beautiful stand. Um, it's got some grass growing in it. I think we planted this. Hmm. I, re I don't remember when we planted it. I know we planted it and you guys watched it. You guys can go check out those videos too. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there. There's 600 videos for you guys to catch up on. It's honestly so crazy to see how much growth is out here after last year. You know, I caught a couple of fields on fire with some flint rocks hitting, you know, the blades of the mower. And this year we've already got more hay just as of today, you know, in May, the end of May, than we had growing, it felt like all season. It's crazy just a little bit about a water can make a difference. You know, for the first time in two years, our area is completely out of a drought zone. Doesn't mean that's what it's gonna be like come August, but it's, it's reassuring to know that we're finally hit that, like, you know, we're gonna make it feeling. And everything we've done isn't gonna go to complete waste. You know, this year we went pretty heavy on the fertilizer. I didn't do any of the, really any of the fertilizer work. Jason did most of it all just because I hadn't been released yet. Um, we had the sulfur cart. It was amazing to just see the difference in the cart from what we had versus running the Liberty. Just knowing, you know, you're spot on with the guidance. The little things that you take for granted that you never think that you really need. It's kind of like heated seats. Do you really need them? But once you have them, you love them. Um, that's definitely how Jason is feeling with guidance in these Massey Ferguson tractors. Um, not that we couldn't have had it with the 6145 or even the 6120, but it was an extra upgrade. Um, these are kind of already programmed for them, so all they have to do is like turn them on. You don't have to buy like the glow on top of it. I think that's how it's all worked out. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. Um, let's see. Let's go over here and flip around. I probably should have washed the windows, but I didn't take time. I literally just jumped in the tractor once Jason got the mower hooked up and left. This, this mower is a center pivot, so it'll go left or right. You can follow it right down the road behind you. Um, Jason will pivot both ways. He is way more talented after doing hay for 18 years. Um, I just started mowing at the end of 19, so my level of running equipment is a little bit different than his. Uh, give me time, 
and a little bit more confidence and a little bit more fields to get things done and we might be able to do it like he does but otherwise I just mow as if there was still two of us in the field up and down up and down I've had a bunch of shorter videos the last couple weeks just because it kind of made more sense to break them down into that like 12 minute mark instead of trying to cram them into like a 20 or 30 minute mark. I didn't want to miss something. Do you guys like those, you know, shorter 10, 12, 15 minute videos or do you like seeing the longer content um, or does it just kind of depend on what we're doing in that video? If you guys could help me out, let me know. That'd be great. Um, we as viewers like Jason and I watch that's all we watch is YouTube as well we don't have like quote unquote like TV dish whatever we watch YouTube and we have some that put out the 10 minute videos like Larson Farms and they're great Amy Larson's one of my favorite people you know that um, she has her own channel which is blooming and amazing and I love her so much you know Sandy Brock um, she has longer videos and that just is like I love her like she's been such a great mentor for me um, she's helped keep me going and I just have such a connection with her and she has you know 20 30 minute videos so if you guys like these intertwined videos um, I'll do my best I totally missed my row that's what happens when you get to be talking Kayla you're not paying attention and uh, I it and did not catch the beginning of the row. I'll have to come back to that. I might have redeemed myself on these wind rows because the, my other ones kind of are a little crappy. Sorry, honey. Not that he watches the videos. Mowing is not my favorite job at all, but I've really come to enjoy it the last couple of days. And I don't know if it's because I'm running, um, the 5S instead of the 44 or the 6145M. Um, this is just a smaller framed looking tractor, I guess. I don't know, I feel, it makes me feel more confident doing the job than I ever have. Um, maybe it's because I ran it all summer baling hay last year. I don't know, but I, I've actually said that I would go mow because I'm enjoying it so much um, versus I've always dreaded mowing. <laughs> I would not say that I'm the best at it, but everybody has to start somewhere, right? We all are beginners somewhere. We all have to learn. Jason's kind of rule of thumb is you won't learn if you don't do it, so. My rows over there look pretty good. Here's a little sketchy. My ride should be picking me up. I left the tractor at the camper. And uh, I think he wants to move cows, but I need to uh, go feed that baby calf that we're bottle feeding. I have a half a bag of milk left and I want to use it, the rest of it up. He's coming in hot. Mm -hmm. They're already ready to be moved. Part of the reason I have the pickup out here is because I'm we're moving the mineral fly tub, so. beautiful. 